Problem number four. Two six-sided dice are rolled. What's the probability of sum of two numbers if the dice will be three or seven or thirteen? So for us, I think it's going to be important to find the sample space. Let's take a look at the sample space. It should look something like this. Uh, the, for the first die, there's six possibilities. For the second die, there's another six possibilities. So that makes a total of 36 possibilities in all. Now, if we want to express this in using the proper notation, um, several ways to do it. One way to do it is probability that we're actually going to roll a 3. And so to figure out what the probability is that you're going to roll a 3, what we need to do is we need to look at uh, the sums that would give us 3s. So there's a 2 and a 1 and a 1 and a 2, and those are the only two possibilities we have to get a 3. So there's two possibilities out of 36. Um, I think it's good enough to leave your problem like that, uh, but if you want to put it into the calculator, um, it would be best to round off your answer to four decimal places. So it's 0 0.5, oops, that's a 0, 5, 5, and in the fourth decimal place we'll round up to 6. So that's your first one. The second one, what's the probability that you roll a 7? And for that, uh, it turns out that this is going to be the probability that's going to be occurring the most. Uh, so 6 and a 1, 5 and 2, 4 and a 3, 3, 4, 2, 5, then 1, 6. So that gives a total of uh, 6 out of 36 prob possibilities. So 6 out of 36 is 16%. Uh, and so that can be translated to uh, 1667, 16.67%. Now the last one is what's probably that you roll a 13. Now if you look at the table, uh, there's 6 plus 6 is 12, but that seems to be the only possibility uh, that can get close to 13, and in fact you don't ever get to roll a 13, so this has an impossible probability, an impossible event to roll a 13 with two dice. Alright, so that's uh, part A, number four.